April 22, 1915. The world is at war. In a battle against French forces, the Germans unleash a new type of weapon. Poison gas. Chemical warfare begins. The Germans enjoy a great deal of success the first year using gas, killing, injuring, and blinding thousands of soldiers. Particularly effective is the use of mustard gas, which causes blisters, blindness, vomiting, internal bleeding, and worse. Nurses tending to gas victims are appalled at the intense suffering the soldiers undergo. Gas becomes the soldiers' biggest fear, and for a while, the Allies' biggest concern. Around the same time, another new discovery was gaining popularity, the automobile. While not as deadly nor purely destructive as poison gas, the introduction of many automobiles into mostly horse-drawn traffic, especially in big cities, caused a great many accidents, resulting in thousands of fatalities and injuries. Police directing traffic worked well, but was too expensive and labor-intensive to use at all busy intersections. Cities tried various forms of traffic control, including mid-intersection towers and semaphore signals, but none proved successful. Chaos ruled the day in busy city streets, with accidents, injuries, and fatalities growing monthly. What do these two problems have to do with each other, much less African American History Month? They were both solved by the same man, Garrett Morgan. Morgan was born in Kentucky on March 4, 1887, the seventh in a family of eleven. Upon turning 14, he decided to move on his own to Ohio, where he believed he would receive a better education. Having a natural inquisitive nature, he learned how sewing machines worked by taking them apart and putting them back together. He soon became a successful businessman, running a shop selling and repairing sewing machines. In 1912, after several other minor but financially successful inventions, Morgan came up with what he called a safety hood and had it patented as a breathing device. His intention was to have it used by firemen, engineers, and chemists who otherwise might encounter dangerous smoke or fumes. Morgan himself was one of the first to use the device when a tunnel being dug under Lake Erie in Cleveland collapsed, trapping 32 workers and filling with smoke, dust, and poisonous fumes. Someone at the scene remembered Morgan and his invention, and after being called to the scene, Garrett and his brother were able to rescue 18 of the trapped workers. The hood, which became known to the world as the gas mask, was to become an invaluable tool for firefighters and other workers worldwide, but it also played a great role in World War I, where it became the chief form of combating the use of gas warfare. Morgan's invention saved countless thousands of lives and continues to do so to this day. His inventions had made him a wealthy man, but this didn't stop him from continuing to think of ways to solve other safety problems. After witnessing a tragic accident involving an automobile and a horse and carriage, Morgan invented the first automatic traffic signal. His device, used first in Cleveland, became the standard across the nation, and today's modern traffic light is based upon his original design. After these signals became common, traffic fatalities decreased significantly and traffic became much safer. Again, it is safe to say that Morgan's invention saved countless thousands of lives. It is men and women like Garrett Morgan whom we should honor during African American History Month. The unsung heroes of the American story who have contributed to society in large ways, yet are largely unrecognized by the American public. People like Garrett Morgan, whose name we might not have heard, but whose actions, ideas, and inventions have benefited, inspired, and affected each and every one of us.